have a 3D image here to help you uh, get a better understanding here. Okay, so doctor, what are we looking at right here? Over here, we're looking at the cervical spine. Uh, we're looking from the side view, so obviously we have the jaw over here. Um, the back of the neck will be towards the left side of the, of the image. So in between, we have this column here called the cervical spine. In between, we have the spinal cord, okay? We have the bones, which are called the vertebras, and then uh, towards the back over here, we have the joints that we're uh, referring to. From here, from those holes are called the foramens. That's where the nerve are uh, coming out from. What we're seeing on this image will be what we develop when people have a whiplash injury uh, from, from a car accident or a slip and fall, so I want to kind of go like this. Um, and normally, as you can see, you compress the, the, the front elements or the, the elements in the front of the, of the neck, and then you also distract or uh, put some uh, decompress the elements in the, in the back portion of the, of the neck. So those things, that they can get injured. So you're putting some strain on some elements and you're uh, causing some reduction on some other elements. And uh, they're, that's not the, the way that they're supposed to be uh, intended to be at. So Dr. Mena, what are some of the common neck pain symptoms and what, what causes them? Most of the common neck symptoms, people, they develop obviously pain in the neck. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, if there's a, a nerve that is being involved, sometimes people might have it going on the arms along with numbness and or tingling. Some people might have a referred pain to the head, what we call cervicogenic headaches or headache coming out from the cervical spine. And if it becomes severe enough that you have the spinal cord, so the spinal cord, spinal cord can get compressed and you can have overall uh, muscle uh, weakness or difficulty with walking, uh, bowel and bladder. Okay, heat versus uh, cold. Uh, initially, normally when someone has an acute injury, 48, during the first 48 hours, normally we recommend icing. Um, and after 48 hours or two days, normally we start recommending ice or heat depending on what's better for the patient. Some and people prefer heat, some people prefer ice, so whatever is best.